It's no secret that at Custom Night Vision, we understand the value of manual gain. There are many new housings coming to the market. The Manicore has been very successful. The MH1 is highly anticipated. It leaves us with the question, what response will we see from the more established night vision companies to address this change in the market and the demand? In 2020, Acton Black brought the DTMBS to market and it was an instant sensation. It became the standard in dual tube night vision. Building on what they learned with the DTMBG program, what we got was a sub 600 gram fully featured night vision system. The DTMBS included, at the time, revolutionary independent pod cutoff, a extremely durable and lightweight housing, an integrated IR illuminator, and a exceptionally simple user interface. As night vision was forced into the mainstream by all the civil unrest surrounding the coronavirus and an extremely divisive presidential election, more and more information about night vision became readily available. With the readily available information surrounding the internet, a more informed customer came to market and that more informed customer desired more. More features, more innovation. Yet another opportunity became apparent to change the game. As I alluded to earlier, there have been many night vision systems introduced to the market with manual gain functionality provision, but none of them have come from the established night vision institutions until now. This increase in spatial awareness is invaluable when moving in and out of confined spaces, even more so when st stealth may be a requirement. This added capability increases safety for the operator. All this being said, at Custom Night Vision, we ask ourselves, why wouldn't we want manual gain? Well, we're back in the office. We wanted to shoot the closing uh, out in the field, but the homeless people were way too aggressive. If, and if somebody asked us to shoot a music video again, I was just gonna start blasting. So here we are. Uh, let's quickly review. We talked a little bit about the DTMV SMG to make it short, just like the OG DTMVS, but now you have manual gain functionality. They didn't add any buttons or take any away. It's still got an IR illuminator. This little knob right here uh, is how you control everything on the goggle. Still has independent pod cutoff. It's very lightweight and I mean, it still looks cool. So we like it a lot. With a market that is finally full of good choices, it is not my place to tell you what to buy. Rather, it is my opportunity to verify that the products are worth your money. And this one is certainly worth it. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, we would really appreciate it if you got down in the, uh, it's over here, I think, uh, over here and hit that subscribe button um so you can subscribe to our channel if you have any questions about what we discussed today you can put them down in the comments as well we're really good about uh, staying current on that and replying within a day or two as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one